All right, folks, we're in trial number three now. We are looking at a blue level one Australope, and let, just like we did before, let's go ahead and count how many times it reproduces. Here we go. All right, that's reproduce time number one, two, three, Oh, it looks like it's getting chased. So it got to number three there. Reproduce, reproducing three times that blue number one Australope. And notice that um, if you're doing this at home on the simulation yourself, you may be getting different numbers than us and that's totally fine. You can keep up um, with your own numbers on your own data table if you have access to Amplify from home. We're gonna reset and now we're gonna to go to blue number four Australope for trial number three. Oh, found one right away, fantastic. Let's follow this Australope and we are counting how many times it is able to reproduce. All right, here's once, twice, three times, and then it gets eaten. So again, with my pen, I'm gonna write that down for trial number three, this Australobe with a blue color level of four um, was able to reproduce three times before it got eaten. Okay, I'm gonna reset again and let's go to yellow number seven next. Yellow number seven, here we are. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and let's follow this Australope and see how many times it reproduces. All right, here's one time. Seems to just be hungry at the moment. Oh, and then it got eaten. All right, we need to document that. Grab your pen and this yellow number seven Australope only reproduced once before it got eaten this time. All right, I'm gonna refresh and let's move on to yellow number 10 for trial three, everyone. Yellow number 10 for trial three. Let's see if I can find one. That one was a level nine. This one's a level nine. There we go. A yellow 10 Australope. Let's go ahead and count how many times this one reproduces. Here's once. Twice. three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, oh, got a little lonely. Let's see here, where is it headed next? We're at seven times for this Australope which has a yellow 10 and it got chased down and eaten after seven times. So with my pen, I'm gonna document that on my data table as well. Let's go ahead and reset and we're gonna to go to trial number four now. All right, folks, we're in trial number four now. We have an Australope with a blue color level of one to start out with. Let's go ahead and get started. How many times does it reproduce? All right, it just got eaten, so that would be a zero for trial number four, Australope blue color level one. All right, let's reset and go to blue color level of four. There we are. Let's zoom in here and see how many times it reproduces. 
can see it hopping, ready to reproduce. Here's once, twice, three times, four times. Oh, looks like it's getting chased. And it reproduced four times before getting eaten. So I'm going to take my pen and write that down on my chart with a number four under trial four, blue Australope color level four. And I'm going to reset and go to yellow color seven next. So that one's a little bit too much yellow let's go to yellow color seven here's one and zoom in and let's go ahead and count how many times this astrolope reproduces here's once twice three times four times five times, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times, ten times, eleven, Hopping again, it's looking for me. 12 times. And then it got eaten. So this Australope, I think it's been the highest we've had so far, has reproduced 12 times before it got eaten. Let's go ahead and restart and let's zoom in for color level yellow 10 for trail number four, found one right away. And let's go ahead and count how many times this one reproduces. All right, it got eaten right away. So I'm gonna put that as a zero on my, da my data table. Let's go ahead with trial number five. We need to get that good scope of data so we can draw some conclusions about uh, what's happening in this population.